This offer will not last, so call or click now to order. You're going to love it. I guarantee you. Shot in 4K Ultra High Definition, your number one source for local news. WRAL News, coverage you can count on. Republican lawmakers' new effort to restrict abortion access in North Carolina comes after months of private discussions and political wrangling. The current law bans most abortions after the 20th week of pregnancy. This new bill would move the ban to anything after the 12th week, with a handful of exceptions. WRL state government reporter Paul Spade joins us now. And Paul, how did lawmakers arrive at this particular proposal? Well, this is a compromise bill. If Republicans are going to pass something like this, they're going to need every single vote. Uh, and they'll need to override Cooper uh, to, to get this bill enacted into law. And to do that, uh, they got people involved in private meetings to discuss where are people comfortable? Where do, because so many of them fall on different ends of the spectrum. Now, uh, the Senate leader has said he supported a ban after the first trimester with some exceptions. The House Speaker said he wanted something around six weeks. Other members have said they want a full ban and some wanted to keep the law as is. Uh, there's even one Republican who just earlier this year introduced a, ban, a, a bill to expand abortion access. She's a Republican now. Mm -hmm. And her name is uh, Trisha Cotham, who was a Democrat to start this session. So uh, it's all been very interesting to watch. Now, we didn't see Cotham at last night's news conference. Do we know whether she supports this bill? Uh, we have not heard uh, her exact take on this bill. She hasn't responded to our calls or texts or other requests for comment. Uh, but the bill sponsors said they wouldn't have brought this bill forward if they didn't have full agreement with every Republican in their caucus. So on paper, that means Cotham, too. As for her absence from last night's announcement, uh, I'm told that was intentional so she wouldn't distract from the bill itself. Obviously, her party switch gets a lot of attention, is intriguing. They didn't want those questions getting in last night. So this abortion bill, though, it's very likely to pass, isn't it? Right. Uh, I'll be surprised if it doesn't pass, to be honest. Uh, we expect it uh, to pass and certainly become a big issue in the race for governor in 2024. Uh, Lieutenant Governor Mark Robinson, uh, who's running in that race, has referred to abortion as murder and called for a ban starting around the sixth week of pregnancy. He hasn't commented on this bill specifically. Uh, but Democrats will certainly campaign on the idea that if Republicans win the governor's mansion or get more seats in the legislature, they could pass even tighter restrictions. And uh, Democratic Attorney General Josh Stein alluded to that in a tweet last night. He's running for governor, too, and said the stakes just got higher. Well, this is certainly a hot button issue that will motivate voters to the ballot box. We know your team will be covering this from every angle. We appreciate your insights, Paul. Thank you so much. You. And for more coverage of the abortion bill and what it contains, visit nccapital.com. Paul, thanks. Thank you. We're getting a first look at video of the arrest of a man who police say